well hi folks welcome back to suraj ke classes once again you're watching me now what are do uh, today's doing is that uh, we are going to play a game uh, it's not a magic show but uh, i want to remind you what you used to do in your childhood you had magnets you had magnets and you used to play with the magnets so do you ever think what happened to those magnets what was actually going on when you just you know cranked those two magnets up and you know, you're beating those magnets when you are putting it together when you are just taking it away so what the phenomena what magnetic doing at the time i'm going to show you simulate you right here so we are on to fmm i hope you already understood how to install this free software and this one is very interesting you know now you go to the file menu then you just need to open this now you have to choose what type of problem that you want to solve here there are four different types of problems that you can solve with this software isn't that interesting that one so see here there are four kinds of problems magnetic electrostatic heat flow and current flow we are going to deal with the magnetic problems right here now now the screen is open now what i'm going to do is i'm going to play a game the two magnets game let me just point it out let me just figure out my two magnets first so i'm going to select this one dot here then after i'm going to click one here i just want to show you how my magnets are now looking see this is my third dot this one is my fourth dot so now just to you know you just have to put eight different dots eight different dots for a magnet see how i have created eight different dots now the time to uh put four more dots you know on boundary side you just need to put four more dots here see i'm going to put four more dots now the time is to connect all these dots now you have to select this line button then after you click on this dot it turns out right it is so angry you know now you just click on the second one it will connect one line for you then again you do it exercise for all dots you have to connect all one yeah see this way you can connect every single dot now this is my boundary and this is my boundary where i'm going to play the game of two magnets see again my two magnets are also created by the same same exercise yeah this one is my one magnet it is my second magnet so this one is my second magnet so both the magnets are ready for the fun now see i have to put some material sign here so you have to click on this round colored button right uh, it's colored so lighty you know i like that see now i have left click on this this one is my one magnet it one this one is second and outside also i have to define what is there outside i have to put now properties see for this game i have to use the material the two magnets and uh, again the material is air air is also material because i'm creating everything i'm the creator now you have i have the boundary i have i don't put it in universe or vacuum but i have some boundary right so i will create first material that one is air right air should be there air is having the mu x mu y that is absolutely one right the second one material i have to need i have to create the boundary i have to put the sound like boundary right now i press okay so everything is ideal here now i have to click on this property then material library there are already preloaded magnets so i am going to select l nico magnet and in this alnico magnet the cast alnico 2 lng 12 magnet i'm going to drag and drop it here right now i'm going to click on okay so everything is now ready for me now i just have to assign the values to all this material now what i do is just keep it as it is the yellow uh, sorry the colored button should be clicked as it is then after you right click on this it turns out red then you press the space you press the space it will 
it will open a menu for you so in this menu you select this cast alino 12 that is our you know magnet to play with then again you do the same exercise for the second magnet and just place press ok and for the third one you just need to click on air right because this is not the material it is an air you have to also define the value for the bound you have to also define the boundary then you click on this line button then after you just right click on this and you press the control and select all four lines then press the space and select the boundary now you press the ok my setup is ready guys what i do what i need to do is i need to save this file first so i'm going to save this as magnet game number two i have already played a game that was you know not good this one is going to be very fantastic right so here we are having we are going to save this first then after what we do is we need to just you know we need to see how many nodes are there 4349 nodes are there right want to crank it up then i'm going to watch this see how beautiful this is how beautiful this is do you know why this is beautiful because both of the magnets like you see if you see here the arrow is right here arrow is right here right here on the right side that means at the right side it is working as an n north pole and the back side it is s pole right here it is n pole and at the back side it is s pole then n pole is here s pole is here then both are attracting each other that is why you see the business beautiful phenomena what if i increase the number of the contours you just click on this you know grid lines and you you need to increase the number of contours if you increase the number of contours now see the beauty of my game i will also show you what is the density so the density plot you just need to click on this you know colored line button then you just click on uh, the show density plot then okay you see the beauty of this both the magnets are attracting each other it is showing both are attracting each other so, so the simple game that we used to play at our childhood at that time we did not know these many things are going around the magnetism right so these two magnets are doing actually this these magnet lines are you know attracting each other like this if you are putting it in the right place right let's do one uh, one more you know experiment you just need to click again on this you know colored round button then after right click on this i'm going to change the then i'm putting the space obviously then i'm magnetizing direction that means now you know what we used to do we used to put the magnets uh, right aligned to each other they both are getting attracted when we are just rotating it down they both are getting distracted so that same thing i'm going to simulate here so i'm going going to put the magnetic direction at 180 degree that means my entire magnet is now reversed so this magnet is working on the right side as n pole and left side on s pole now again this one is left side and right side as so both these north poles are against each other now see what happens i'm going to crank this up then i'm going to see this see see what is happening not a single line getting attracted to each other now see what thing is actually going on inside you can see the density plot you can also see what is happening here see now let's not see the density plot i want to see, make it clear for you that how these magnetic lines are uh, you know uh, it can be noticed that the magnetic line that is right here it is going uh, you know inch away from the magnetic line of this but they are not going to get mixed because both the poles are you know the same poles so not a single line you will find that getting attracted to each other so it is very difficult for these lines to get attracted right so this is the perfect example what we used to play at our childhood but we did not know that how these things are working so right here guys if you haven't played that game go and get two magnets play the game otherwise just come on this ifmm and play this thank you so much for watching this video